In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, I saw a YouTube by a Catholic priest, a Benedictine monk actually, saying that Christians should learn from the devotion, from the, uh, yeah, the devotion, the dedication of non-Christians in their prayers. Well, dear father, I'm talking to that priest. Ladies and gentlemen, a Benedictine monk has so much to teach the world through the gospel itself, the Bible itself, the tradition of the church, through Saint Benedict and his rule, namely the sense of the transcendence of God, of the greatness of God. Yes, Father William is right in saying that we, at times as Christians, we feel a sort of familiarity with God. Since the Word became flesh and has set His tent among us. This is the meaning of the, of the Greek verb in John 1, 14. So we should keep this balance and in this we should, we really do not have other people to, we do not have to admire other people because when you say that we have to admire other people, many would misunderstand you and would think that there is something wrong in our Christian faith, that there is something lacking in our Christian faith or religion, and then that we should look at another religion in order to get something good. So, let's once again make a very clear, clear-cut distinction between people and religion. Our faith and our persons. In our faith nothing is lacking. Jesus is perfect. The gospel is perfect. We are imperfect as human beings and so are the others. More or less of course. So as Christians we say great is the mystery he who has appeared in the flesh has manifested himself by the angels, etc. This we read in the first letter to Timothy. So, let's get things right. We Christians feel that God has become one of us by becoming the man, Jesus Christ, but this, in this man, Jesus Christ, as we read in Colossians 2.9, dwells the fullness of the divine nature. All the fullness of the divine nature. Pan to pliroma tis theotitos. So, and then, St. Paul adds, somatikos, in a, in a bodily way, in a physical way. So, God, for us, Jesus is true God and true man. We shouldn't overlook any of these aspects in our theology and in our prayer. So, we, we admire devoted non-Christians, but we have to be devoted Christians and not to leave Christ under the pretext that many of us are not devoted. Well, thank you uh, for your attention. Thank you.